So I think now is the time for the panel discussion. Please, if you have any question that to be directed to the speaker, you can ask them in the question area. Dr. Rafa, please, if you don't mind, can you be with us on the stage? Dr. Rafa, please, I have the first question, if you don't mind. Yes. So, apart of your experience, how do you see the transition program in Saudi Arabia? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, he's asking about how do I see the transition program in evolving in Saudi Arabia. Um, uh, I think- Regarding po postgraduate uh, training, you mean? Uh, Dr. Khaled, this is a question for Dr. Rafa Aswari. Um, I think it will be challenging uh, since uh, the age, uh, cut off age in our practice is usually by 14. So it will be really challenging and it takes really a good effort from both adult and pediatric. In my experience, limited experience actually in our hospital, we managed to do it even though the age is still the cut off age is 14. But this has uh, to take a very good collaborator, adult traumatologist, and we do it uh, actually with, uh, in a prog progressive gradual way. So each center has to come up with what is suitable for them in order to implement the transition. Um, it is usually led by the pediatric traumatologist, not the other way around by adult. I do believe that there should be a future sub 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 specialty actually in adolescent traumatology that needs to be promoted either in pediatric traumatology or adult traumatology practice in order to support this. We need a future education in both adult and pediatric. And um, it, unless, and I heard recently that there is um, a discussion about extending the pediatric age in Saudi Arabia till the age of 18. If this is, is going to happen in the near future, that will support very much the process of transition. I think we have a question from the Professor Mayu. Assalamu alaikum. Dr. Rawaf, I thank you very much for this uh, important topic uh, for uh, patient care continuation. Uh, in my opinion, Dr. there is one important factor of uh, transfer failure, and I believe the nature of the disease itself. Yeah. If it comes to lupus, no one of our colleagues from adult traumatology will refuse to see or accept the patient. Yeah. But when it comes to the new disease, we are seeing right these days like immune dysregulation disease, auto-inflammatory yeah. disease, syndromic inflammatory diseases. Probably we feel some reluctant from our colleague from adult traumatology to accept and to follow those patients. So I'd like to get your comment on that and probably we need to hear also from our colleague from adult traumatology. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I totally agree with you, Prof. Sleiman. Uh, this is a very challenging uh, group of patients. And in our center, we agreed uh, with our colleagues in adult traumatology to have um, a leading care by pediatric traumatologist because they don't have the experience in managing, for example, CAPS, TRAPS, or hyper IgD syndromes. They lack the knowledge and the experience in those patients. So we do share the care with them. Um, um, outpatient with us, if there is a need for inpatient and they got admitted, we share the care with them. But this is really a growing up of a group of patients with immune dysregulation, auto-inflammatory diseases, that is the nature of the disease itself, as um, the, our colleagues in adult traumatology completely lack the experience. And we do appreciate this, and they do appreciate this. So I hope to hear from adult traumatology. Their opinion. 
I think uh, there is a question for Dr. Dr. Khalid. Uh, patient uh, has been diagnosed uh, with the um, isolated, uh, non-infectious uh, anterior uveitis and uh, has been on uh, Sulcept uh, three grams per day, but his condition was not improved. So what is the best next step in his management? Cause of the uveitis. If it's an idiopathic uh, cause of uh, uveitis with non granulomatous uveitis, uh, we we go to biologics after the uh, um, mycophenolate moffety. Three gram is a good dose, and uh, sometimes we go to biologics in order to control such conditions. But of course, you have to know the cause of the anterior uveitis. But if it's idiopathic, bilateral, and not responding to Celsept or uh, mycophenolate mofetil, then one has to consider biologics in these patients. Okay, thank you so much. So I think um, with this question, we'll uh, close uh, the panel discussion and uh, we are, we reached to the, uh, finish the uh, uh, first session. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor uh, Sami uh, as a chairperson. Please, this is Professor Sami, if you have any words before to finish. Uh, I would like to thank the speakers. Um, again, um, I would, um, I'm very happy to see that everybody is careful. I hope this continue for the end of the uh, conference. Thank you very much for the, um, Dr. Fahid again for his um, uh, introduction and for his nice work. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you, dear respected uh, chairpersons and the speakers for uh, participating in the first session. And now we move on to the second session. Uh, the second session is an exciting session. It's about the oral abstracts that were uh, submitted to the uh, research committee for the Saudi Society of Rheumatology Conference for this year. And it gives me an immense pleasure to introduce the respected chairpersons for the second session. The first is, um, chairperson is Dr. Ramiz Aswalim. Dr. Ramiz Aswalim is a well-known uh, senior consultant rheumatologist at Prince Sultan Medical City at Riyadh. He is also the past president of the Saudi Society of Rheumatology. He held uh, numerous you know, administrative and scientific posts and published uh, several articles in the field of rheumatology. Uh, so uh, welcome, uh, Dr. Ramiz. The second uh, chairperson is coming all the way from the East Coast, Dr. Manal uh, Hassan. Uh, Dr. Manal Hassan is a consultant rheumatologist and internist at King Fahad University Hospital at Al Khubar City, and she is also an assistant professor uh, of internal medicine and rheumatology at uh, Al Imam Abdul Rahman bin Faisal University in Dammam. So, uh, without further ado, welcome uh, Dr. Manal Hassan and welcome Dr. Ramiz. Uh, 